Good morning, ladies. How is everyone? Good. I got a couple goods. Well, one of today's Bible stories tells us about a man named Matthew. Now, we know Matthew as one of Jesus' disciples. That means he followed Jesus, he learned from Jesus, and then he went on to teach other people about Jesus and God's love for everybody. But before Matthew was a disciple, he was a tax collector. Now, boo, that's right. Now, tax collectors in the Bible... Whenever someone's called a tax collector, that's a flag, a red flag for us. We know this person is not, probably not a very good person. So the tax collectors, it was their job to collect the taxes from the people, the money that the people owed the government, which was okay, but they would like take a little extra and keep it for themselves. So they were stealing from the people and making themselves rich with money that they hadn't earned. So tax collectors say, boo. Boo. There you go. We're not booing people who are tax collectors today, but people in the Bible. So the religious leaders, the Pharisees, they called the tax collectors sinners. So that was a label, a name they gave them. But Jesus saw something in Matthew. He knew that Matthew would make a really great disciple. So he said, follow me, and Matthew did. In fact, the Bible tells us that that night they had dinner together, Jesus and Matthew and some of Matthew's friends. And the Pharisees said, Jesus, why are you eating with those sinners? Why are you wasting your time with them? They thought Matthew wasn't good enough for Jesus to be spending his time with. But Jesus knew better. He saw something really special in Matthew. The Pharisees were focused on what made Matthew different from them. But Jesus saw that Matthew was going to make a really great leader. He knew he'd be a really great teacher. We know that he was a really great writer because we can read the things that he wrote about Jesus today in our Bible. Jesus got it right. He saw Matthew, he called him to follow, and he gave him the skills and the talent that he needed. He took that and helped Matthew use it to spread God's love so so far that we today are taking advantage, we're learning from Matthew all the things that Jesus taught him. So let's give thanks to God today for the love that Matthew, that was seen in Matthew, and the love that Matthew is able to share today. So y'all pray with me. Let's close our eyes and y'all repeat after me. Loving God, thank you for your son Jesus, who sees the good in each of us, Help us to be more like Jesus, seeing the good in others. And help us to be like Matthew, who was a faithful disciple. And all of God's children say, Amen.